We'll be taking you live to Christmas Street to find out why it won't look like this this year. But first, if you had planned a trip abroad over Easter or the summer, you may have found your flight cancelled. The aviation industry is struggling with a skills shortage. It just doesn't have the workers it needs to meet the post-pandemic demand. But Luton Airport is hoping its new apprenticeship hub can help. Andy Holmes has been to meet the first recruits. All of these pieces on here are manufactured from scratch. It's induction week for these apprentices as they begin a career journey where the sky's the limit. They are going to learn the fundamentals of aviation maintenance, mathematics, physics, electrics, materials and hardware, they'll move on to aircraft systems, they'll move on to engine systems and then even into propellers. Why Luton for this? Traditionally we would have done the training in our offices at the Kemble Airport in the Cotswolds. Now what we're looking to do is to allow the airport operators access to basic training in the Luton area for Luton aircraft operators. So what we've got here is for the first time in a long time the airport operators having access to trainees, local people, local jobs with local aircraft operators. 26 apprentices will be based here in a building that was bought by the British School of Aviation in 2017 when Monarch Airlines went bust. £55,000 has been spent converting part of the building into classrooms with an on-site training workshop too. Loki from Leighton Buzzard is one of the apprentices. I've been interested in aviation for since I was really young basically and then I saw this opportunity with EasyJet come up to do an apprenticeship in the uh, mechanical engineering side of it so I thought it would be a great opportunity to apply for. So what are the benefits for you from this being based in Luton? It just means I don't have to worry about travel expense because uh, I'm nice and close and then if I were to commute it's not too bad either so it's just a big advantage really. Luton's airport's taken a big hit during the pandemic, so can this scheme help it recover? Absolutely. I think uh, any aspect uh, such as, you know, that promotes uh, local jobs, especially when you're talking about high-quality, high-skilled jobs, is, is definitely a good sign. So we are starting to see these uh, sh shots of recovery, which is, which is really great um, in, in these circumstances. We've been working very hard and planning ahead to ensure that we are ready for, for that recovery. We are starting to see that and what we want is for that to consolidate. So an initiative that goes you know, a long way in, into supporting that, we are, we are very, very glad to see that. Andy Holmes, BBC Look East, Luton.